Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are doing an oracle card reading with regards to love. And the question we are asking is, what action should we take towards them? And we have uh, three decks in front of us here. We have the Esther and Jerry Hicks uh, teachings of Abraham's a deck of uh, 60 relationship cards, getting into the vortex it's called. We have the uh, beloved uh, Enchanted Map um, Oracle cards, and we have the Answer Simple uh, by Sonia Chiquette. And um, these are actually a favorite of mine, but I haven't used them in a long time. And so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna ask you to go ahead and uh, choose a deck and uh, from one of these three choices. So it's number one, two, or three. And I'm going to um, start the video. Okay, so with the first, um, with the first deck, uh, we are beginning. And the question is, what action should I take towards him or what action should I take towards her? What action should I take towards him or her? What does the universe advise us to do with regard to him or her for those of you who have chosen this deck? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pick this one. And I feel that there is another card in here that has a message for you. And I believe it's this one here. Okay. So your love message from the Oracle cards for this week is living vibrationally. I am, the message says, I am a vibrational being, vibrationally emanating desires. Okay. So what I gather from this card is that it is important to understand that every thought process that you have is sending out a vibration. So if you're thinking, oh, he or she is not going to call, or he or she doesn't love me, or he or she is not going to be excited when I call, or he or she is not going to be happy to see me, then you are sending out that vibration. You're sending out that vibration that says that somebody is not going to be happy to be with you. Um, for when you take particular action. On the other hand, if you send, if you're feeling and you're thinking about yourself as somebody who's delightful to be with, who is lovable, charming, beautiful, and that people really enjoy being with you, then you're sending out a very different vibration. So the advice to you from this particular card is to say, is saying that you need, if you want a bit, if you want a particular outcome, you need to send out the correct vibration to be able to um, manifest that outcome. Um, this is not to say that uh, the other person doesn't have free will. This is not to say that you are impacting the other person's free will. This is merely talking about you putting yourself out there as you truly are, not covered in a cloak of your fears, but just as you truly are. Okay, so let's see what the next card has to say. It says, my, re my relationships will change when my vibration changes. Okay, so I believe that this uh, is a confirmation of the other card. It's like, it says um, that if you go, this card is speaking about you manifesting, you manifesting what it is that you truly desire. And um, this card's uh, giving you the confirmation that when you, change your vibration, when you're thinking about your relationship in a different way, when you're thinking about it in a positive way, when you're not thinking about all the shortcomings they may be, or um, how you could fall out with each other, but rather thinking about the love that you could have, about the fun that you could have together, about the caring that you have for each other, about the consideration and the respect that you have for each other, then your relationship will be impacted. So. This first reading here, for those of you who've chosen this uh, pile, it's very much about you actually um, changing it from within. 
you going within, changing your thought processes, uh, being more aware of what your thought processes are and what vibrational vibrational signals that you're sending out, as and, and then seeing the result of that work that you do within yourself. Okay, so it's it's not asking you here specifically. So what shall you do with them? Was the what shall you do with regard to them? What action should you take towards them? Was the question, and the answer here is work within yourself and don't take an action towards them just right now. Uh, rather take time to think about what it is that you say really think about them and how it is that you really feel about them, and um, and identify the reaction. Um, that your thoughts have on the on your relationship at present. Okay, so thank you very much for those of you who've uh, chosen the pile number one. For those of you who chose the pile number two, uh, it is this deck. I'm just going to give it a quick shuffle. And the question we're asking is, what is it? What is it that we can do with regard to our person? Okay, so we have the first card. It says Magic Stream. What is it that we can, which, what action can we take towards the person that we're dreaming about right now? Okay, so we have two cards here. One is Magic Stream. And the other is Spirit of Place. And with this deck, um, this is the uh, Colored Bar Baron Reed uh, deck. I'm going to go ahead and read from the book itself here. And I'm going to re read the meanings out. And then I'm going to discern for you what, the, what action you should take. Um, so the first card is Magic Stream. And that is the number 18. And it says... Every experience you have seems to have its own life story, with a beginning, a middle, and eventually an end. However, there is danger in seeing events as separate from one another, since in fact they are all part of a community of continuity and greater evolution. Like an ever-flowing magic stream, your experiences filter through the whole world, one leading into, into another, informing and influencing still more. Inspiration invention and revelations really come to just one person the collective awareness is shared is a shared storehouse of potential when you remember you're part of a fluid continuity of life you become a channel for great inspiration allow the magic to flow through you and carry your dreams to reality your success will benefit many so the first thing that i'm getting from this card is that you should go right ahead you should go right ahead and take the action that you want to uh, with regard to this person. I think it's important for you to be yourself. I think it's important for you to be and to show the magic that you are, that you truly are. It's important for you to do what you need to do, whatever you feel drawn to. So if you feel, wait for a moment when you feel inspired, you may feel at this given moment that, okay, I just want to call them, then call them. Or you may feel, no, not, now it's not the right moment. We might feel like just out of the blue texting them. Um, but you will receive this inspiration. And when it is that you receive this inspiration, you must take action. Because your action will benefit others as well. Okay, so sometimes you may be in a situation where you think, oh, I want to text this person. Should I text them or not? Well, don't think about it. Because when you hesitate, it impacts the the stream Um negatively because you're hesitating and hesitation is a form of fear so move forth go fear go forth fearlessly with love as they say and uh, do so with the knowing that all the impulses that you're receiving and the the call to action that you've asked been asked to take is in alignment with the divine and so go ahead and, and take action when you are called to do so. Because at that point you will be in flow and it will benefit not just yourself, but all around. Okay, so that's the meaning of the first card. The second card is talking about spirit of place and it's the number four. So it says, authenticity is the essence of power. Our ancient ancestors believe that every place has a spirit looking after it or embodying it. Just as we have a soul, the plants, trees, birds, mountains, and rivers have their own essences. 
When the spirit of place arrives in your reading, it says that the answer to your query is in the overarching theme of your circumstances. Is your question about a struggle? The answer is to relax and let go of your need to control the situation. If your inquiry relates to finding love, then embody love rather than long for it. Once you find the essential truth that underlies your question, then name it. You will discover the answer you've been seeking. Your greatest power is your authenticity. Okay, so it really, for me, it, it's almost the same meaning here. It's saying to me, here they're saying be in flow, be yourself, be authentic in order to be able to impact everyone else positively and to be in that flow. And here it's saying, well, um, I think here it talks about go within that space within yourself. And if you can't go within yourself to find that, that space of purity, then go outward. Find a tree that you like to go to. Find a labyrinth that you like going to. Walk along the ocean. Walk in a forest. Go somewhere where you can refuel yourself and where you can feel as that part of you which is authentic again. Because it feels to me in this energy that you've been really thinking a lot about this person and wondering whether you should take action or not. And uh, you've been afraid of what the outcome is going to be. And so you've almost contaminated the, um, the pure energy that exists between you two. And the idea is for you to go back, clear out that um, anxious energy that you have within yourself, root yourself again, re-earth yourself, and then contact them when you feel like it's like you should. Whatever you do, do it in authenticity. Don't do it out of fear. When you're calling this person, if that's what you want to do, or texting this person, don't sit there trembling and think, oh my God, I wonder what their reaction is going to be. Just do it. But spend some time clearing yourself first, clearing yourself of the old energy, the uh, energy that's of anxiety and worry about what can or cannot happen. So that's your message for those of you who chose uh, the Oracle card reading number two, the deck number two. For those okay. of you who've chosen this deck, the deck number three, the question we're asking today is, what action should you take towards them? What action should you take towards them? Okay, that's the first one. Okay, so that's a nice, interesting uh, combination. It's basically saying rise and, and shine, okay? Uh, the next message is blow off some steam. I love how happy these cards are. They just always feel so good. A shout out to the author um, for this deck. So um, I think it's time for you to come out of your cocoon Come out of that place that you've been hiding and speak your truth, okay? And tell them exactly what it is that you have, or how it, exactly you've been feeling and what, it, what action uh, they've taken to make you feel this way and how what they've said or what they've done has um, made you feel, yeah? It's not just, you're not blaming them. You're not making them take responsibility for your feelings. You are simply sharing with them and you are getting it out of your system because what it feels like to me here is that you have been in a cocoon. You've been hiding away. You've not been speaking your truth. You've not been telling them what's been bubbling beneath the surface. And now you actually need to do that. You need to create the space or open the doorway to them again. Okay, in case you've blocked them or you've pushed them out of your life, you need to go back, open the space towards them and then let them know exactly what it is that you think and how it is that you feel and what you feel about the way they've behaved towards you. If they've made you angry, then let them know that they have done that. Let them know how you feel about the way that they've acted. Okay, it's important for you to do so. So if you're wondering if you should contact them or not, yes, go right ahead, contact them. Talk to them, let them know how you feel. I think meeting with this person is a better option than phoning them or texting them and actually just, um, you know, sending them a message uh, in which you express yourself. I think actually making yourself ready to go out, meet them, 
and then uh, talk to them about what it is that you need to talk to them about. So that was your quick um, oracle card reading for this week and it was for the question of love and it was uh, the question that we asked today was what action should we take towards them and the decks that we used were these, this one, um, this one and the um, getting into the vortex deck right here. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, very quick um, insight into your love life and to what action you should take. And let me know if you like these oracle card readings and if I should do more of them. Okay, uh, next week I think your oracle card reading will uh, have a focus on career or um, in your life in general. But let me know if you want me to do one just uh, for love only. Okay, so I'd like to say thank you uh, for stopping by my channel. Thank you for watching this video and uh, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.